Hey all, it's Laura from Craft and Sea with Laura B. And I am here to show you, look at all these fussy cuts. First of all, fussy cuts. You'll always be my worst enemy. Anyway, so here we, that's what I did last night. So I should have, I do have, well, pretty much everything I'm going to put in. Uh, journal card wise is right here so I got to put them over there and what else was I going to say I had an opening and now I can't remember it ah, ah, argh, darn it anyway so just to recap um, Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals and I have a collaboration going and it's called hashtag I hit a wall journal swap and what I did is I sent her a flippy flappy envelope journal because I like the interactive. I really do. And it was more you put journal cards in it and stuff. Um, anyway, so, but I got stuck on it because the papers are London Town from Janie B Journals and I absolutely adore them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I'm an Anglophile, you know. Um, anyway. Janie B. Journal's her London Town kit, I, I got stuck because I couldn't do anything to cover the pages, like, you know, put clusters or anything on it, ugh, because I just couldn't do it. Anyway, and she had a couple signatures along with some Jane Austen papers, let me, various and sundry Jane Austen papers, and so she, excuse me, so she sent those to me. And what we're doing is she's decorating that journal and I'm decorating and creating this journal. We're both doing that. And this is the cover. The story so far. This is a story so far of hashtag I hit a wall journal swap. So as I explained in another video, I'd already kind of done the envelope pockets that I wanted to do in signature one. So now we are on to signature two. And I, I got to put this away because otherwise I'm going to lorry it up. And if you don't know what lorry it up means, um, my nickname is Lori. Has been pretty much my whole life. and But now I go by Laura to new people. But I still refer to myself as Lori. And to lorry it up is to... in I can... If it can be dropped, spilt, run into, knocked over, tripped over, or in any way, other way, broken, I will find a way to do it. My body takes it as a personal challenge. I don't know if it's the MS or if it's just that I'm as coordinated as an elephant in ice skates. I do not know. Anyway, so my point being, so I, I got all this and I started like a doofus. Got this far on decorating the first envelope before I went, oh, duh, I was supposed to be filming that. So, without further ado, and if you stuck with me through my long ramble, thank you, I'm going to sit and create. So, what I did, as I, uh, it may or may not be obvious and if it is I apologize for I took a long windowed envelope I had just I had already chosen my envelopes and so the idea I had in mind was obviously to um, make this a pocket and oh shoot no no I did I did it right I did it right there kind of freaked me out for a second anyway and um, I opened it up on the top and before I glued it all shut, I went ahead and, and put a little background on it. Excuse me, I sure hope you guys can see me. And I'm in focus. Yep. Sorry for the glare. I think I'm in focus. God help me if I'm not in focus. Am I in focus? Let's try it. I guess so. It didn't do anything. Anyway, so what's going to happen with this is we'll glue it on here. So it'll be another flippy flappy like I did in my, the other signature. And my issue is I'm trying very hard to get out of the matchy matchy thing. But when I do my signatures, I have the same amount of pages, the same amount of envelopes or pockets or 
you know, these kind of things that I have them equal on both sides. So if I put X amount embellishments in one, I got to put X amount embellishments in the other. And they don't all have to be the same, but they have to be even and equal because that's, that is my OCD is everything has to be even, um, straight, slush, plumb, whatever you want to call it. I, I, and the other weird thing is if I'm the volume, if it has bars to mark what level it is, it has to be an even number of bars. And if it's numbers, it has to be an even number on an even number. So, you know, it has to be 18, not 17, not 19, but 18. And I never used to be like that until my niece came to stay with me. Oh, must have been 15 years ago, I bet. And that that was her thing. That was how she, you know, her OCD. And really, you know, all OCD, not all it is, but a lot of what it is, is just your attempt to control, well, to control your anxieties, to exhibit, exert some kind of control over things. Now, I used to have a light switch thing, and I don't know if I still have it because I don't have light switches like that. But it is, if there is, ow, I just poked it myself. If there is, um, what was I saying? Oh, if there are more than one light switch in a panel, you know, like in businesses and stuff where you have multiple switches for multiple lights in that room. Crap on a crap, crap. Grr, come on now. Straighten up and fly right. I'm just trying to move it. There. Okay. That's a little bit more where I can handle it. Again, a little bit closer on this end than it is on that one on the bottom, and that bothers me. But I'm going to let it go. I'm trying to choose to let things go. But anyway, back to my light switch thing. So if there's more than one switch in a panel, they all have to be facing up or facing down. And if they're not, well, then I just kind of like cease to function. I, ju I, ju I just don't handle that very well. Um, so, coincidentally, like a pocket in my first signature, because I coffee dyed these, the numbers that I wrote on it to make sure I, you know, differentiated uh, what signature was what, I numbered them, you know. One, a, one, this one, oh shoot, there we go, this one here was 1B, um, and, but I copied item, and I can't seem to get the numbers to erase, yeah, after I copied it, so, what I'm going to do, what I did in my first signature, is, I did not send my timer, I'm trying to set the timer for, uh, so I know how how long I've been yammering on for. So let's go. How long have I been yammering on for? Sorry, I gotta look. Oh, for God's sake, what does that say? Eight minutes. Okay. There I go. I am going to attempt. My phone only allows thirty-three minutes and twenty-two seconds before it stops and immediately starts another recording but there's a slight gap and I'm trying to avoid that anyway so here's this pocket and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of these brads that I got from AliExpress and it's a good thing I don't know anybody that anybody close to me like you know in real life okay that's how it goes they are, I will have to say, these are very, 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 very thin. So anyway, I'm going to carefully use a pokey tool. For crying in a bucket. There it is. I kept passing it up, couldn't get my hand on it. I'm going to just randomly poke a hole in here without poking myself. There. I did it, I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. I know. I'm always going to be singing or humming or making up a song like that one. 
because that's just how I roll. So, how's the weather in your neck of the woods? It is, well, I don't know if you can tell, it's just the sun came out here in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State, and I can guarantee you that it's not going to be out for long. So, I've got this bin in front of me with a bunch of washi tape. It's my washi tape holder. And as you can see, I'm running out of room. Maybe or maybe not see, but I am. I'm running out of room. So I've tried to organize it by, like, flowers, and if there's a, a season, you know, a holiday or something. But I can't fit my, um, I don't have enough room to fit all of these in it, so I need to add a more. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Order more um, levels. I'm, I don't know the right term for it right now. So I'm just going to say levels. Now, I've said this before, and I just, just want to make sure, you know, I cover my bases. I do have a chronic illness, and... So sometimes I will omit a word and not know it. I will say the wrong word and not know it. I will transpose numbers even if I'm repeating it verbally as I'm writing it down. And even proofreading it, it, I have, it sometimes works. It, it takes a couple times for me to get a handle on it. So this is all we've done. Oh, now I can... Oh, Thank God, it's not going to be in the middle. It's not going to be in the way. So I'm taking this Bira Craft. It's an envelope punch, but I'm a little bit confused by it because it um, there's it has like these score marks, but there's nothing to. You see what I'm saying? There's like nothing. So so I got this little scoreboard. Here and the thing that held the knife on broke off, and so I put some Velcro here, and now I can't find a little scoring knife. And I'm highly suspect that my dog, the lovely Isabeau, took off with it outside. She is notorious for being naughty like that. Absolutely notorious. She's a naughty dog sometimes. But I just love her. I just love her so much. Anyway, so back to the weather. I know, I can do that. Um, it's The sun came out. It's part mostly cloudy. And mild. Well, it's... I don't know what it is outside. It's about 40 degrees outside. 38. And believe it or not, this morning I was like, man, it's already 38 degrees outside. Now, I know you people that are from wintry areas are like laughing at me right now like are you I'm trying to get my head out of the way are you kidding me is what they're saying oh please and they're laughing and laughing oh for crying in a bucket sometimes I forget how to use these um reverse tweezers there there we go and I can do that one because I just thought of it just thought of doing this because you know never admit said that I was always quick on the draw I will say I always choose to do things the hard way it's like my go-to I don't even think about it you know I just I gotta move this so I can see sorry um Art of this is getting it positioned just right and letting go of the tweezers and doing it all before the glitter glue dries. There. Yay. All right. I need to hurry it up. So how is everybody today? I already talked about the weather. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. We're behind on our rain, apparently. Thank you. But thank God California is getting quite a bit. It needed it. Needed that snow. It'll be good for their snowpack. Um, yeah. No, this is awfully flimsy, so I'm going to put it up here. So it's going to be a 
dribble pocket. So it's going to have a pocket back here, it's going to have a pocket here, and then this long tag pocket. So let me bloop. Oh, what do I want to talk about today? Well, I'm looking forward to some... Oh, I'm, you know what? I won't talk about spring. I start out with these grandiose plans of all the things that I'm going to plant and do and... Yeah. And then I make it halfway through the season and it's just like, oh my gosh. Uh, part of it is um, my... Uh, where my outside water spigots are to water. I have... I, I, I don't have... I live on a uh, about 2.6 acres, I think it is. But it is long, like... Um, you know, long like this. It's on my shoulder. Uh... I don't know if it's called train trestle or whatever, where it's just long vertically instead of horizontally. That's the way I it. Vertically as opposed to horizontally. Anyway, and see, I thought it was straight here, and it is. But it's not straight there. Arg! Oh well, it's just going to have to do. Okay, that's good. So we can put, to recap... We have one back here, we have one here, and then we have the long tag, and I know you already got that. So, I've made notes to myself, so I can go back and, and add some stuff. So, this one, we're going to have it folded over like this. Once I decorate the inside, we'll have the cards go in here. So, and I'm probably, I know I stuttered that word, um, oops, put your pin in your glue, this is the thing I always do, forget to put my pin in my glue, you know, it's just, it's like you, it strikes me as backwards, because you've got to get, I'm, excuse me, I'm taking a slurp of tea while I talk, kind of like while having tea together. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Mm, I hate it when I do that. It happens to me a lot. I, I, I think it's the M word, you know. Once you've hit that and you're, you've hit that milestone of is that? Oh, for crying in these sakes. I'm trying to get through, through this with as little tearing as possible. And I should just use my flat spatula that I have hanging up there. And so then it looks like yuckies. There. It looks yucky. So we are going to pick paper that is going to, okay, it's going to be upside down, so that's going to cover, I want it to cover pretty much the entire thing, or, you know, I like it when you look in your pockets, it's all matchy, but this is not for me, and it's going outside my comfort zone, so, <sighs> ugh, erg, arg, comfort zone be damned. Am I right? Leave me to my comfort zone. So, what I do, we all probably have our own ways. Let's just come up here. Let's see. Let me get my Mr. Pen. So I do it correctly. We're going to come here. Alright. <laughs> On this pocket that I had just done off camera, I, I, I marked here instead of on the paper, so then I had to go back and line it all up. Because. Because I'm a dip, dip, dip. Sometimes I'm a dip, dip, dip. And this I'm just 
eyeballing. That side I'm eyeballing. And I'm so irritated because I'm out of, which turns out to be my favorite glue, but the uh, Scotch Create glue stick. They're permanent. Don't make my mistake and get the not the repositional. But anyway, I really like it. Yes, it's gooey and gummy, but it it seems to stick a lot better. But I'm out, and so I'm just stuck with this Elmer's washable glue stick that I dislike with the intensity of a thousand suns and where the hey 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 did I mark this don't tell me I cut it off I did because I'm a dip oh I'm such a dip I'm such a dip 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 there we go see I have no rhyme or reason I, I see something that I like and I just slap it on there I'm trying to be less precious I guess you would say they would say across the pond about it and just just do it you know just do it I, I, I suppose there's an easier way I need to eat this I can't see it I can't see it I can't see uh... oh okay that's okay I have a little white uh, little punch out circle it looks just like that on the back and so I was trying to pull it off I was trying to pull it off. I gotta glue all of this. First, finish this. Get that out of the way. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. What I ink? There I am. See, that it to me is really. Oh, why am I bothering to cut that? I guess I just wanted to save paper. So I'm not sure what I can do with that though. Yes, I'm talking quietly to myself. Growing up, I felt like I got a lot of crap because I had a loud voice. And apparently I must have worked on it because I a lot of times I hear people tell me they can't hear me. I couldn't hear you. It's like, oops, well, sorry. You know, you told me how loud my voice was my entire life and how you didn't like it, so what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? There we go. And no, we did not go and see. Uh, good thing I have this because I messed it up. I was going the wrong way. Why? Well, I, I bet you saw that. I, I, I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. <laughs> we keep repeating it to myself. I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. I easily get turned around. Yes, I'm directionally challenged. And no, I do not know words like east. And, and, and for the most part, don't bother giving me the street name or me telling you the street name because I don't know it. How much time do I have left? Another nine minutes. I need to get a timer timer instead of putting it on my phone because then the screen goes black. And I cannot monitor it. Because we want to be like whatever that... Uh, See, this is confusing to me because the envelope is upside down so I could do what I wanted to it. Why? Particularly, I don't know. I just arbitrarily picked up. So, um, yeah. There's that. Oh, glue book. Glue book. Now, I was talking to Mitzi at 307 Junk, junk Journals and... Wow, I'm just losing it this morning. I'm losing it. I'm losing the plot. Oh, what were we saying? Something about something. I hope that some of you can read between my the lines, so to speak, 
and understand that just all of a sudden you just blank. I don't know if it's camera thing. I don't know. Well, I mean, I blank a lot anyway. So. Because I, I, I squirrel in my head. I'll, I'll suddenly start thinking of something else and it's like, oh, derailed. Or I'll hear something, you know, like somebody say something in the background. Oh, there it went again. Try to remember to put the pin in the glue. What I'm doing is going like this. So what I have taken to doing is covering this. I don't know how other people do this. So you know you're on straight. And then I check it, and if it's fairly straight, then I'm done. And then I mash it all down. And that way I know, and sometimes you have to have more glue. Oh, and it's not this problem, it's the envelope's problem. Alright. Da -da -da. All right. Can you believe they're coming out with yet another crud? I forgot to put this underneath that. So, see, this one I like about that Elmer's glue. I don't know if it just dries fast. I mean, I did the purple. I thought I got the entire edge. Ouch. With the purple glue. I have such a hard hard time seeing this. There. A little tiny hole. Anyway, I have such a hard time seeing I have a hard time seeing that little hole. So we're gonna do that. That's done. And since I'm not again easily confused today, I've had a really rough couple of days, and I feel like I'm off. To this side, so I apologize. So I need to glue right here, and then I'll glue that to the back. Because we are done with the inside of the envelope. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I don't need this. Just that side, bring that out, talk myself through it, where's your towel, Miss Paint-A-Lot calls it a tinny towel, and so do a lot of creators now, um, I'm gonna do a shout out, let's see, um, who do we want to shout out today? Let's see. Oh, um. Oh, I thought I was going to say something. I thought I remembered. Well, some of my, okay, some of my favorite creators of digitals, and in no particular order, just kind of how they come into my brain. Good night, nurse. Can't you do that? Apparently not. All right. So, pockets. And I'm not going to glue, glue it. And I'm going to put a little bit like I did the last time. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I think what I did wanted to do, or I did, because I thought it was a, just a decorative element, is get rid of that. I try to cover up some of this. Not always. See, I'm I'm trying I'm learning because Mitzi and I our style is so different with this with our journals. Um and that's perfectly fine. I'm actually gonna because this is just me, 
because I went up to here on the window, I have to do the same thing. Even though it's going to be on the opposite page and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. It needs to go. That's what I am saying. And I should have put this on the other way so I knew it was perfectly straight without getting my big old gray hair in the way. Not that I have an issue with my gray hair. I like it. I think it's pretty. I get a lot of compliments on it. It is predominantly, it's, I guess you could put it salt and pepper. Um, if you'd wanted to, because I do have darker hair in it. But, it is, uh, I have uh, two of these and two of the small ones. Uh, the other ones just don't cut like they're supposed to, so I ordered two more. But anyway, the ones that aren't the great are for glue only. That's what I tell myself. That's not what I always do, though. That's what I tell myself I'm going to do. I really kind of like this. This washi. I, I love these washies, and I would love to utilize it, but just not there. However, oh, hang on. So what I'm going to do is, how many minutes are we at? We are at 31. So I'm going to actually stop this video, and I will pick up in just a moment. Yay. Um. Anyway. So, uh, I really like this, but I want to do something different for that. And oh my gosh, hot flash. I think I need to go turn down the heat. Just one moment. And I'm back. Ooh. I'll shut the fan off in just a moment when I get cool again. And I know if I just take my jacket off, I'll just be freezing in another ten minutes. So, now... I bought, a, I bought a little bit of lace um, from a lady on Etsy. Oh gosh, whose name I've forgotten. She's out of California. And it's just like you get X amount of whatever you get. But, you know, I, I had pitifully little lace. So, two. See, I think that's cute. Now I just have to put some washi under there to cover it up so you don't see this because it bothers me. And you're probably saying, shut up what you're singing. Shut up what you're singing. Okay, I have nothing that I like that I think goes with that. So I will pick the lid off. The rock. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. Okay. Here we go. I'm leaning back. Oh, I know. I'm picking. Picking and a grinning. Grinning and a picking. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Alright. My Monet. I'm going to line it up a little bit. But... Uh, almost put a monkey wrench in the whole works. Because this is up and this is down. So this is what I'm going to cover, which is great. And that's where I'm going to put my lace, which means now I have to find new lace. Uh, I'm glad I caught that. I'm really glad I caught that. Ta -da! But this is too wide, so I'm still going to put it up there. I have not eaten today, which is not unusual for me. It's only 10 a.m. I usually don't eat until after 2, um, when I'm being good, haha, -ha, I um, do pretty much ketovore, which is keto and carnivore together, so I eat a lot of meat and some veggies. Um, it, I can only eat so many 
green leafy vegetables because it my system doesn't like it. So yay for that. But so I eat a few veggies and mostly animal products and animal byproducts. And it's nummy, nummy, nummy. And I've lost quite a bit of weight. Although I have to say this last month I've I was on a medication that made me crave carbs and carbs don't like me. Carbs are not my friend. They've never been my friend. They'll never love me. They'll never love me back. Um, anyway, I went on a carb binge. And carbs make me crave carbs. I don't feel satisfied when I eat carbs. I, I constantly, I'll eat more and more and more. I'll overeat because I just can't get enough. I don't know if it does everybody like that, to that degree, but I've discovered it does that to me. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? It does it to me. To me, to me, to me. Okay, that was from some movie or something. I'm very, uh, I think I've said it before, I identified early on in my life with movies and TV, apparently, and, and books. I mean, I, I was an avid reader. I have been an avid reader just not in the last couple of years. I've been really slack on that. Uh, but anyway, I was an avid reader. And I, but I see things, I'm very visual. So I see, I, I have a photographic memory. It's not perfect, but it's, it's fairly good. And so I see everything in pictures. And I think, I, I, I may have said it before, but I think that's why, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm bad at math and it's I, hard for me is because I, math is fluid. You're adding this to do this and you're going across and you, it, it's like music. It's all over the place. And I can't get a snapshot of it. Oh, this came from that place. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why I had a pin thing. And we'll right side up. There we go. So we have something pretty that semi, semi covers that. So I need to pick another one. Again, we're doing all day, so I've got to bring my thing down. Try not to make it look like it's slamming you in the face. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, then can go off. Sorry, Tom, sometimes I forget. Perfect. I've been wanting to use this one, too. Um, sometimes I don't realize how close it is to that, and it... Wow. Sorry, I have been sick. Um, and apparently I still don't feel the best. So, pardon my sniffs. If I get them, I hope I sound... I think I sound okay. I don't think my voice is wonky anymore. Or gravelly. I have a cold. That kind of thing. Nope. So, I have been... What have I been binge-watching? Uh, well, I alternate. Because, you know, I get sick. I get sick of it. So then I have to stop. I was binging Buffy and Angel until stupid Hulu took it off their took it off their streaming services. And I, I get it. There's always there's always something. There's always some reason that you guys do that. And it's aggravating. <laughs> Which makes me laugh because I've also been... I like a, I like to go to bed after watching a comedy. Um, as opposed to something serious or, you know, like my true, true crime shows, which I haven't watched in a long time. Um, probably because I don't have ID Discovery anymore. I do not believe. But you can find some of those shows on... Well, you used to be on the free if you have Comcast thing. But anyway, I don't know. So I try to, but I try to finish my night watching a comedy because I feel like it puts me in a better mindset when I go to sleep. But it just could be my imagination. 
And that could be all wet. I really doubt that's going to be long enough. But we shall try. We shall try. And it's too big and it is long enough. I'm just now. I mean, I don't need to add anything there. But, um, yeah, I, I won't. Thank you. I won't. Because I don't need to. I really, really, really don't need to. Yes, I'm just babbling. Because I'm trying to think of something interesting to say. Oh, okay. Here's what I'll do. Since I like true crime. And so does Candace. Hey, Candace. I love you. I hope you're doing okay. You need to call me. Or I'm calling you. Um. So the crime beat here in my small... I got laughed at because I said it was a small town of X amount of people. And I get it. It's also... I, it was not a small town. It is not the... I was born in a small town. Kind of small town. You know, where you don't have to lock your doors and everybody in there's one stoplight. There are... I'm counting one. Two, three, four. Five. There's five stoplights. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'll call it a small city. Because they do call it the city of Yom. So, I'll call it a city. It's a small city. But, there was a... <laughs> there was a story. It, it's been a few months. It was probably back in December. I don't know. It, it's been a while. But it cracked me up. Because the story was that there was a... Um, a guy at the... At the Dollar Tree, the Buck Twenty Five store, that was in the store, and they had to call the police because he was assaulting customers with get this, pull noodles, pull noodles. He was whacking people with pull noodles. <laughs> and I know that's not funny because you are assaulting people, and it, and it's probably kind of frightening because you might not be able to get away with from this stranger who is just whacking you on the head. But I forgot to set the timer again because I'm a dip, dip, dip. Um. That um, it was just that he was using a pool noodle. It's like, and it was in the crime thing. So you know, I live in a small city. Thank God, where there's apparently not much crime other than somebody whacking somebody with a pool noodle. I'm sorry, but that just cracks me up. Oh, it probably shouldn't, but it really does. It makes me laugh. A pool noodle. You're assaulting someone with a pool noodle. So, you know, again, I'm not laughing because people were being assaulted. It, it was, it was the pool noodle thing that got me. So, anyway, that was a few weeks ago. I'll have to, like, read up and, like, see what's happening. What's happening in, 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 in our, our, um, neck of the woods. Oh, I could do that. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to, because I just have to place. Sorry. I'm sorry, Mitz, but I have to add lace on both ends. And I'm just not going to have enough. I don't think. I might. See, I always, I cannot judge, um, no, that's too wide. Uh, distance, length, anything like that. I just, volume. I'm always picking the wrong container for leftovers. Um, I either get it too small or way too big. Um, I, I I really don't can't judge height other than you're this X tall because you know I'm only 5'2 so so it's kind of like see the problem is is I like this lace and I don't want to cover it up so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put the paper down. I was thinking of putting the lace underneath the paper you know, so you can hide that little bit, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm trying to be really good, as you can see, about putting the pins back. I gotta hurry up and decorate this thing. This, at this rate, we're never gonna get done with this journal. So what I will do a lot is do crafting offline, and then offline. Uh -huh. And then you, uh, oops, that's where that goes. And then just do a little bit. Isn't that what you guys do, all you creators out there? 
if I'm at, at school me, you know, I, I'm, I can take criticism, you know, nice criticism. Although, you know what, I caution you in one way, because I have pretty much 52 years of bitch just itching to break out on someone. So, I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying it's within the realm of possibility that if somebody leaves me a rude comment, that I will respond in kind. So, you know, I'm not saying I will, I'm just saying I might. So I don't, I can't remember if I asked her. I'll have to check my texts later. But what paper she uses? Because it feels like it's. Let me trim this. Sorry. Um, it feels. I mean, it's always like twenty pound. I don't think it might be twenty four. So it's a lot thinner than I'm used to. Um, I always gravitate towards thirty two for whatever reason. Um, but it it doesn't seem, water doesn't seem to bother it. And some of them feel like they have like this smooth, um, not glossy, but almost. I don't know. And I, I may have asked her, or it was the, I know I asked her about her printer. You know. But I don't know if I asked about, about, the paper. I remember thinking about it in my head, but don't remember if I actually got it out of my head and into into my fingers so I could type. Do not know. Above my pay grade. And that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, I know I didn't put my pencil back. There it is. There it be. Got that. Oh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I feel like I, I mean I slept decently. I'm trying to, you know, this is my full time job. This is how I want to uh, increase my income. And so I'm trying to approach it more like it's a job and get up early and you know, like if I'm gonna take a shower, get in the shower. Get ready. Problem, why did I put that away? The problem is, is I'm finding it hard to balance this with everything else in my life. You know? I, uh, let's put it over here. Because you measured it for over here, that's why you're keeping it there. I like this color. No, I did that. Uh, anyway, so I'm trying to treat this more like a job and get up and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything I said. However, <laughs> get up early, get in the shower, and take a shower. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm finding it hard to balance, excuse me, the laundry, the chickens, the house cleaning. Um, excuse me, not, I, I, I'm not specifically Joe's needs as much, because, you know, I'm on top of that, it, I don't feel like this is interfering with that, but it's interfering with my responsibilities that aren't him, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, anybody who, I, I've said this before, I'm a living caregiver for a special needs gentleman, um, it, it's a cush job. It really is. It, it's a part-time on-call. He's, he's very self-sufficient in other ways, and in some ways he's not. He's emotionally 10, so, you know, that kind of rules the roost. And, I mean, he goes places on his own, and he'll go up last year, and I think the year before, too. He rode the train up to the Mariners game. Um, by himself. I just took him to the train station and picked him up. And it was a nice... It was, And he had a good time. I think one time he stayed... Maybe that was a Kraken, where he actually stayed in Seattle. 
in a hotel. He'll all stay in a hotel by himself. He doesn't have a problem with it. Anyway, so, outside of him, he's, I have no issues with balancing that, but I tell you, it's the boring things. It's the mundane housework, laundry. Right now, I don't have to mow the lawn, but in the summer, there's going to be all that work. And, you know, it's just, I've only had to take care of me since April of 2013. Yes, I'm specific about that date for, you know, reasons. Um, but yeah, I've, I've only had to worry about me. You know, as a single parent, my son's whole life, he's off on his own. So, yeah. And then suddenly it's like, oh my gosh, I have all these responsibilities for other things. And then there's the planting I want to do, you know, the yard work. And unfortunately, the property I live on, oh, for crying in a bucket, why is everything crooked? And I really honestly think it's the trimmers. Whether you get a rotary, well, I haven't, I don't have a rotary trimmer. I don't have one of those. I think Tommy at uh, Paper Crafting with Miss Tommy. Hey, hun, do you, what, what is the one you have again? Is that a rotary that you just absolutely adore? Um, let me know. Let us know. Does it, it, does it cut straight? You know, seriously, inquiring minds want to know this. Because then I'll save, attempt to save my pennies and saving dimes. And we're working till the sun don't shine. Because, you know, happy times. And Blue Bayou is what we're looking for. Am I right? Or am I right? So I'm just convinced that these trimmers don't trim straight. And I have a problem with the middle of this bowing out so it doesn't cut cut in the middle as well and I do not know why it does that maybe you know the universe the trimmers on the Amazon just don't like me and so they're all crooked um, Candace calls her scan and cut her old one her old scan and cut scan and cuts well I bought this um, I don't know 12 by 18 it's a big guillotine trimmer because more accurate right absolutely not it is not you cannot first of all it has one stop to put your paper against so it doesn't move it and that's at the top but you can't go by that you have to go by the markings and it is just vexes me so i call that a cut and cut cut cuss and toss that's what that is, because it's a cuss. You try to cut, and then you cuss at it, and then you throw it across the room. Okay, well, I threw it onto the couch, so it's not like I threw it on the wall and broke it. I just got disgusted, so I just... <laughs> Isn't that awful? Wait, don't do there. Don't do there. Don't, don't, don't. don't, don't. Oh, this is what I'm doing. So, anyway... Oh, there it is. For those of you in the know, I've been sick, so I think that's why I'm st my voice is still, my voice and my train of thought is still going bye-bye. It's still all over the place. So I am always on the hunt. I am kind of on the hunt for a new trimmer. It's not of dire importance, ever other things have to come before it, like, I have to have crowns put on next month, of which I've never had anything more than, the worst thing I've ever had at the dentist was fluoride treatment. I'm not saying I have cavities, no, I'm going to say I'm not, but they've always, they're fairly small, except for the ones where they're going to have to do the crown, um, but they're fairly small, but anyway, so... And they were painless. I mean, I've had my wisdom teeth pulled out. The first time they gave me laughing gas, I was 16. Um, and that made me sick. 
I, I, I have a reaction, apparently, to any and all forms of anesthesia. I mean, it's not an allergic reaction, it's not an anaphylactic reaction, it's just I'm sensitive to it, and it makes me really sick to my stomach, and it takes a long time to get out of my system, because why? I'm sick to my stomach, so I don't drink. I mean, do you drink when you're sick to your stomach? No. So, there's that, and I just grilled off again, because I had to take a slurp of my tea. That is more better. What you looking at is girl, is girl. I have the love of my life. Okay, sorry Spencer, but Spencer, my son, is never going to watch this. So, you know, with the exception, the obvious exception of my child, my dog is the love of my life. And I, I did not know that kind of love. I'd heard about it, and I, I'd seen it, but I'd never experienced it before. And oh my gosh, she's just the absolute joy of my life. Even though, you know, she's can just absolutely, oh, she, you know, just irritate me. I mean, yesterday was just beyond the pale. And I don't think I told you all about that because I think I already had my video done. Not sure I videoed yesterday. I don't think I did. I think I just worked on what I had. Because the editing. Edit. Just, never mind. <laughs> That's just a very hard word for me. It's laughably hard. I laugh at myself. So go ahead and laugh. It's alright. It's funny. But anyway, the tech part is, is notoriously hard for me to get a handle on. So it takes a long time. So anyway, I didn't film yesterday. So I didn't get to express my utter outrage at my dog. So, what happens is, I've not had a couple good days. They have nothing to do with me and having a cold. They're just, oh man, I went too far to the side. But, okay, you can't see it. Didn't go over. It's a junk journal, Laura. Get over yourself. Quit being precious about it. Anyway, so finally, about 10 o'clock in the morning, 9.30, I cannot handle it one more second. And I go to get coffee. Because I can't drink, like, cup by cup hot coffee, whether it's a Keurig or a pot. Um, it really tears up my stomach after a couple, three days. So anyway, um, where's that lace? Where'd I put that little box of lace, y'all? See, how, how, how do I do this? How do I put, have something in my hot little hand? There it is. And suddenly lose it. I think it's just because I can't, I stroke out and I can't see it. It's like, it's no longer obvious to me that there is something supposed to be there. Now, I have a problem with this. I don't know if anybody else does, but I have a problem with when I'm putting it on top of the edge. And it's one-sided. I prefer doing this if you can't cover this part. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know why. I don't know why I swallowed a fly. Or she swallowed a fly. See, and that's just not going to be big enough, I don't think. Nope. No go. Because it must match on both sides. And I can close this. So I got these. For, I didn't finish. I got these from AliExpress. I don't think I finished. Wait, don't tell anybody I will. And then I got these from Etsy. And these came really quickly. I need to leave a review. I mean, I ordered them, I think, on Thursday. And it said the 1st through the 7th. And it was here yesterday. They were they came yesterday or the day before. What is today? Wednesday? I think they came Monday. I know. Amazing how quickly they showed up. Um, lace. So now I'm going to bring this one up. And I know I was talking about something and completely forgot it because that's just how I roll. You know what I think I'm going to do? Is, instead of lace hanging over, I'm going to... <clears throat> I like how that pops. But I like how this matches the muted. So, 
you, 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 oh, my dog, English Bulldog. She is a three quarters American Bulldog, which apparently is a pit bull, which I have no problems with when they're raised correctly. Um, they're very loving, loyal, goofball, happy dogs. And protective. Very protective, which I like. And then she's a quarter bull, English Bulldog. So, and I laugh because I used to say I was the most stubborn thing on the planet. <laughs> and then I got Isabeau. Um, I may have said this in a video. I, I'm like, I, do you see anybody else get lost in the videos you make? It's like, wait, what am I supposed to do today? I forget. Anyway, um, I used to say I'm the most stubborn thing on the planet. <laughs> then I met her. Uh, I am the, she is the bulldog of, wait, how, how do I say that? She is the bulldog of humans. No, she's the Laura of he, bulldogs. And I am the Laura of pit bull, of English bulldogs. I think that's how it is. I don't know. I'm getting confused. Anyway, the whole point is, is we are, our personalities are so, why did I do that? Are matched. Very well matched. <laughs> yeah, we just, our, our, uh, stubbornness, yeah. So, and I love her to pieces, except for when she's chewing up my S-H-I-T, because she's lonely. That's what really irritates me. The one thing I don't like about uh, blah, 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 lace like this is that um, it, it's hard. I don't like cutting off the rosettes. I just, I don't want to cut the flowers. Don't make me cut the flowers. So, there we go. Put that on that. Since I'm not putting that straight away. How much time do we have? Oh, eight minutes. Do, do, do. It, it amazes me how quickly you can this. This is some Eileen's tacky glue. And again, you shake and shake the ketchup bottle. Oh, look. I have a pin in it. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know it was going to do that. So that it has to be blood out. Look at that grossness. Do, 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 do. It really is like molasses or whatever. I'm trying to get that dirt. Okay. Got the dirt out. Got the dirt out. I am almost out of, uh, well, I've got a, quite a bit of fabric. One beacon, one, two, three, three and one. Beacon, three and one. Good night. Um, but the I ended up cutting the tip, needing to cut the tip, and I cut it too, uh, too big. I mean, all you have to do is, you know, hold it against it flat and squeeze, and you can, it, it's not going to come flying out, but you do lose, do I do that in the right way? Yes, I do. You do tend to lose. What? My, she, so back to Isabel. Her name came from Lady Hawk. So she's named after Michelle Pfeiffer's character in Lady Hawk. And had I gotten, I, I, I knew I wanted a dog. I knew the basic breed that I wanted. I, I really love the boys. Oh, that's just gross. I'm going to throw that away. That's just not good for anything. Um, But I didn't know the sex or anything. And uh, she came around. The uh, opportunity to adopt her came around. But uh, if I had gotten a boy, his name would have been Dacus, not Navarre. Like in the movie, not Rutger Hauer's Rest in Peace. The movie. But anyway, you hear her whining. She's sucking her blankie. I don't know why I did it this way and not on the flowers. Or why I did it on the flowers the first time and not this way. Because I do crud stuff like that. And then, here we go. And again, this one is just slightly... So anyway, I, I may not have finished my sentence about these things. Is You don't want to cut half of the flower off. Or at least I don't. 
Three you a good girl. Are oh, you a good lamb? Yes, you are. I'll be done in a minute. Yep, you're going to have to wait. So, we're not making journal cards at this point in journal in this endeavor. Oh, look, it just wants to get back on there. Get back on there. Get back on there. Hey, y'all. It's Laura from Craft and See with Laura B. How y'all doing? Um, I'm just doing a quick little blurb because apparently when I shot the video the pre for this, I did not um, press record. I, You know, I timed myself so that it wouldn't roll over and I would miss something. Like y'all would miss something. But it went slightly over. I miscalculated my time. It went slightly over. And anyway, when I came back, I forgot to press record, apparently. Because the project you didn't get to see finished. Completely. Anyway, you didn't miss much. So, but that's my little story. And I, you know, newbie in me. Hopefully I'll find something that works. Because the editing program I use now just... Yeah. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.